educating people about MPOX. This camp in Goma is the epicenter of a recent outbreak of the MPOX virus in the Democratic Republic of Congo. It spread silently across borders and continents. This child has been diagnosed with the virus, but in this poor conflict-ravaged region, he can't be isolated from others. I'm afraid because I have many kids, and all of them are sleeping together, even the one who is under MPOX treatment since last week. Educating communities about the threat is important, as very little help has arrived here. We need to get the right information out to the people who are immediately at risk, as well as those who are likely to panic. Kenya has had one case, a truck driver traveling from Uganda. This is one of the main testing labs in the country. The virus is probably spreading through the, the travel routes that people use for traveling, especially for countries that are affected with the virus, like uh, Democratic Republic of Congo. So the people of concern are like truck drivers and business people who travel long distances. Kenya has begun screening travelers across its borders and formed a rapid response team that includes educating communities. But here too, it's apparent that more awareness and education is needed. Many Kenyans don't know the symptoms of this disease. It's very similar to chickenpox, which my children got. We need the government to send community health workers to educate people in what to look out for. Not just education, but a more robust international response a week into the warnings about the virus being sounded. We can and must tackle MPOX together across regions and continents. So will we choose to put the systems in place to control and eliminate MPOX globally, or we will enter another cycle of panic and then neglect. How we respond now and in the years to come will prove a critical test for Europe and the world. And what does that interpret? We put that to the director of virus research in Nairobi. Do you think enough attention is being put from the international community who have the vaccines on the epicenter, on the DRC? Uh, vaccines haven't arrived. Enough attention is not being put on that because from the COVID-19 experience, we learned that vaccines are very important in prevention of spread of the virus. If we limit the spread of the virus, then we can contain it. But if you're not providing to the vaccines to the people who need it, then it will be very difficult to co contain it if it becomes a pandemic. So far, no vaccines have arrived. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, Nairobi, Kenya. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.